Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain Television. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's Court has announced that His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa was admitted yesterday to the hospital to undergo some medical checkups, which were very assuring and successful. The court prayed to Allah Almighty to bestow continuous good health on His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to continue the steady progress of development for Bahrain and its people. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee and the Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, honored the winners of the season opening endurance race in the attendance of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and the leader of Al Khaldiya Stables, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Brief President Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa also participated in the presentation ceremony along with the Brief Endurance Committee head Sheikh Daish bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his appreciation for the winners, stressing that the levels provided by the riders and stables in the race highlighted the intensive preparations for the sport of endurance in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which has superior attention and care from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness also hailed the positive results of the Royal Equestrian Team, which reflects the riders' keenness to achieve the best results in the competition. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Khalid underlined the intensive competition between all the participants in the race and hailed His Majesty the King's remarkable support to the equestrian sport in the kingdom. Under the patronage of the President of the Arabian Gulf University, Dr. Khaled Al Ohali, and in the presence of leading local, regional, and global health officials, the ninth scientific conference kicked off its activities this morning at the Princess Al Jauhara Center for Molecular Medicine. This year's conference aims to set the path for the establishment of the Bahrain Genome Project. Mohammed Shaban has more details in this report. Global experts in the field of medicine and genetics convened at the Al Jauhara Center for Molecular Medicine on Saturday morning to kickstart the process of establishing the Bahrain Genome Project. This comes as the center hosts the ninth scientific conference to build on the experiences of regional and global genetic centers. We invited uh, different experts from different parts of the world. Uh, we have people from Japan, from the United States, from Europe, Australia to participate in developing the uh, uh, first genome map for Bahrain. We, in this conference, we are going to put the basis for developing the genome map for Bahrain. This is special. Genomics has impacted the course of medicine during the past two decades. The field involves mapping out the genetic basis of prevalent diseases in the population with the aim of personalizing therapy. Now, after the human genome era, when they have sequenced the whole DNA for the human being, this has become very important because a lot of uh, disorders are related to abnormalities in the sequence of the DNA. So it is the first step towards personalizing the treatment, the diagnostics, the prevention of diseases, and this will help the public health a lot. It will reduce the costs 
of treatment and uh, give better care. It's important because, first of all, we'd like to start the Bahrain Genome Project here. Um, we, we don't have it at the moment. They start, started it in different um, countries in the world, um, like I said, in Japan, in the US, in UK, in Australia, in Saudi, and in Qatar. So hopefully um, we're going to be next. Geneticists believe investing in the Bahraini Genome Project would help establish effective and safe individualized health care, which is expected to yield better results. Well, genetics by definition means diversity, and every country, every region really needs to understand their own genetics if they're going to implement it in proper med medical care. So learning from other groups from around the world, I think we've got a lot of new technologies, and coming to Bahrain, uh, it's a unique population. Uh, we're all going to share ideas and, and the technologies to come together to make the project more successful. Saturday's conference is a major step for Bahrain to join the genomic wagon as it upholds its standards of optimal health care. Bringing international genetic experts, that's what medical professionals are doing here today as they pave the way for the future of therapeutic medicine in Bahrain. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain Television News. And here's Danielle with the latest business news. Danielle. Thanks very much, Summer. A very good evening. You're welcome here to the business news on Bahrain Television. Under the patronage of Bahrain's Energy Minister, Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, the National Oil and Gas Authority, NOGA, hosted a signing ceremony for a supply agreement between Bahrain Petroleum Company, BAPCO, and Aluminium Bahrain, ALBA. The deal was signed by BAPCO CEO, Dr. Pete Bartlett, and ALBA CEO, Tim Murray, in the presence of officials from NOGA, BAPCO, and ALBA. The minister extended congratulations to the kingdom's leadership, as well as to BAPCO and ALBA for the signing of the key gas supply agreement, stressing that the deal marks the real start of ALBA's development projects, in addition to their sixth smelter. The numbers are in for Black Friday, the biggest shopping day of the year in the United States, and they reveal light turnout with subdued transactions, largely blamed on bad weather sweeping the nation. However, as much shopping is conducted online nowadays, it could still be a happy holiday for retailers. Marty Johnson reports from Washington. Braving Black Friday for shopping is something Emerson and Bailey Weinhold look forward to every year. Because the deals are best and you get the best sale. Everybody's always out and it's always like fun to go and spend time, yeah. Exactly what U.S. retailers are hoping for this holiday season. Happy shoppers, ready to spend, looking for deals. Holiday sales are expected to increase 3.7 percent over last year. And while that growth rate is a little slower than last year's 4.1 percent, we're still optimistic that retailers will see holiday sales growth uh, overall. The National Retail Federation says 135 million Americans are shopping this weekend in stores and online. What are they looking for? A mix, including some of the same things Eric and Michelle Turner hope to pick up. What are you looking for? Tech, clothes, food, books? Oh, it's a mixture of tech and sporting goods. We have uh, two boys, 10 and 13, so it's all about sports in our house. The retailers also predict a huge year for high-tech and mobile products. We're expecting this holiday season to be extremely mobile friendly, meaning that retailers are placing a tremendous amount of time in attracting those savvy mobile shoppers and consumers are actually listening to retailers when they come calling. What that means is that U.S. consumers are confident about the economy and what's ahead. They're spending money, cycling it back into the economy and sending a powerful message to the U.S. Federal Reserve. Most economists predict the Fed will raise interest rates based on statements like this from Janet Yellen, warning delays in normalizing rates could have adverse effects as well. If the FOMC were to delay the start of the policy normalization process for too long, we would likely end up having to tighten policy relatively abruptly to keep the economy from significantly overshooting both of our goals. With global markets anticipating the increase all year, analysts expect Wall Street has already absorbed much, if not all, the impact. 
giving investment shoppers fewer surprises before year's end. Reporting for Bahrain TV, I'm Marty Johnson, Washington. And here's Mohamed Janahi with the latest sports news. Mohamed. Thank you so much. Good evening and welcome to the Sports News on Bahrain TV. Under the patronage of the President of Bahrain Bodybuilding Association, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Team Unlimited Strength Crew from Spain claimed the Calisthenics World Cup title yesterday with a score of 47.16 out of a possible total of 50, beating their opponents from the UK, Bar Sparta, yesterday. Bar Sparta finished the day with a total of 42.56 with just a marginal difference. Away from third place, Team Cali from the USA, who managed a score of 42.37. Samuel Gallant from Team Unlimited Strength Crew managed to grab the highest point for a player, scoring a personal score of 30 out of a 30 possible. Well, to tell you the truth, it's, uh, it's important for us uh, to see what kind of sports the uh, youth are into today. And uh, this is one of the up and rising sports. And it's important for us to show that Bahrain has uh, not only been a host to many other sports, but this one as well. Um, not only that, uh, when we tried this event out and we've seen the outcome of it, I think we're also looking now in uh, installing some of these um, equipments for the public to start um, and uh, to have them uh, practice uh, in, in public spaces. So um, anything that helps with uh, the development of all the different sports in Bahrain uh, is uh, important to not only to myself but uh, to everyone who's working in this field. Uh, we just finished the first ever Calisthenics World Cup in the Kingdom of Bahrain. It's been a great event, great location, great venue, a huge turnout, even better than we expected. So that makes me extremely happy. Uh, luckily, we've been honored enough to have it under the patronage of His Excellency Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, which has given this event great importance and it has ensured that it gets the respect that it deserves. We've got a lot of Bahraini calisthenics athletes over here who practice the sports at home, in the streets, in the parks, in the mamshes, as we say in Bahrain. And now everyone knows about what they've been doing, all the hard work that they've been going through. Everyone knows about it. So we're extremely happy and honored to have this in our kingdom. The whole world is talking about Bahrain. Everybody knows about Bahrain now in this scene. Everybody who's talked to me has thanked me and has thanked the people of Bahrain for welcoming them. They say it's a beautiful country. They say nobody's ever done it like this. So, General, alhamdulillah, thank God. Thank you, Bahrain.